Hello everyone, this is a review of the Waylong GTS that I got from cubesforspeed.com. I'm not exactly sure where to start, so I'll start by saying this. There was a lot of hype around this cube, even before it came out, about it being really good. I normally keep my expectations pretty low when cubes are getting so much hype, but this one kind of delivered. It's really fast and pretty smooth and has a lot of stability to go along with it. And that's really important because a lot of times when you get a cube that's just so fast and can corner cut as much as this, you tend to lose quite a bit of stability, but this one doesn't. The corners have a design like nothing I've ever seen before. They're very large at the top and large at the base and have just the skinniest little stock piece you ever did see. That being said, they look nothing like the corner of a waylong. Here's the corner of the Waylong version 1, and then this is the corner of the Waylong version 2. These look pretty similar, and then the GTS one just kind of looks nothing like them. This is the edge from the GTS. It looks a little bit more like the Waylong over here. It's still quite a bit different. This has sort of a very flat side, which is something that you know, used to be in cubes, but hasn't been for quite a long time. The GTS centerpieces over here are actually pretty large and they sort of do resemble the center pieces on older waylongs more than other pieces do. With the mechanism differences aside, I can say for a fact that this cube performs better than either of those two cubes. But with both of those cubes, I found them ready to use right out of the box and I didn't really need to add lubrication or tension them. This one I did have to add a bit of lubrication because when I got it out of the box it was just far too fast for my turning style. And I've heard the same from a lot of other people too. They have a hard time controlling it because it's just so fast out of the box. But with just a few drops of a heavyweight lubrication, it slowed down to a very controllable and nice speed. For this cube, I would recommend 30k or 60k from cubesforspeed.com. You can kind of twist the corners sort of easily when it's just sitting like this, but I've never gotten a corner twist in a solve or a pop for that matter. I've used this cube to compete officially in five rounds, and I usually get a pretty good single. I've gotten a sub-10 single with it every round I've competed, which is alright for me. But I never got a very good average, and I think that's just because it was still a little too uncontrollably fast for me at the time. It's not just good for 3x3 either. It's alright for 3x3 with feet, but I find that it's a little too fast and tends to lock up a bit more than other cubes. On the other hand, for one-handed solving, it actually performs pretty well, and I found myself enjoying solving it with one hand and getting decent times. There's not much else to say about the Waylong GTS besides you can get it at cubesforspeed.com. It'll come in a weird box with yellow breaking in tools and a tacky red plastic background in it. But don't let the box deter you because at cubesforspeed.com it's $16 and it's a pretty nice cube. That is it for today. Thank you so very much for watching. Goodbye.